Well, several acres of Jason Barnes's fields are bone dry after a lack of rain. It's left him having to replant crops he just planted a few weeks ago. Right here is is the first planting, which is not much left. They died. We went back and replanted the second time, so these are new plants. Tobacco is one of the major crops Jason Barnes plants every year. We also do peanuts, corn, soybeans, wheat. But this week, he had to stop planting. There's the peanut right there sitting in dry dirt. Mainly because of Mother Nature's lack of rain. It's been no more than a half an inch in the last seven weeks. Some places, just one tenth. And if we keep digging down, we look, we have to go about five inches to be able to find adequate soil moisture. Barnes says this has been the driest spring in several years, and it's impacting not only his crops, but his livelihood. At the end of the day, if we don't do good, everybody below us doesn't do good. But Barnes is focused on a solution. However small compared to Mother Nature, it may be. You can't grow a crop from start to finish with irrigation, but it's a helping hand, and you pray to Lord that this will get you going until you will get rainfall. And he's not alone. I've gotten phone calls from farmer friends from as far as South Carolina, and they're going through the same thing, the east to west. But as he kicks up dust in the field, Barnes looks to the horizon. If we can get substantial rainfall in the next 10 to 12 days, we'll still be okay to produce a crop. On your side in Dinwiddie County, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News.